Let's create a new and improved stick. Now the flaws of the original, as I've experienced um, during landing and from the comments in the YouTube videos, it has a very short fuel range. So here 382, which is on the strategic map, so short you can barely send it from fleet into a town without touching or crossing into the early warning radar with the main fleet. So that's the first problem. And I would also like to upgrade the fire pawn, maybe see if I can pack two extra guns on it. So let's see how we can do that. <clears throat> Again, this video is not pre-planned or pre-tested as a concept. So I think it's more interesting that way to see and all the mistakes that you cr crash into and all the trade-offs you have to make. The one idea I have is I would rip out that center section, put a large fuel tank in it, this one, and see if I can rearrange the parts somewhere else and perhaps top off the tower with two extra guns. Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> yeah. I'm not deleting them so I know what's missing when I want to put it back in. Air suppression systems, small quarters. You have to remove the hull to actually place the large fuel tank because um, you can't just place it on top of the hull. Okay, now reattaching is going to be a bit of an issue. Let's... Make this part symmetrical again. Generators down here. Or I could put the ammo boxes. Nah, I'll just keep it where they are. Okay, now do I have enough power? Yes, I do exactly have enough power. Okay, now we still need to go back to the fuel tanks. Eight hundred range. Oh, let's stack it a bit more. I got two fire suppression systems over here. I'm not liking them right next to the bridge. I'm going to put the crew compartments right next to it. Here. And I'm going to put the fire suppression system. Put them both up here. Put the armor piece back in. Hmm. Now this armor piece comes back over here. One over here. Now we get the extra protection from the side. Because that's what I want to have. Good protection from the side. This over here is well armored. This here isn't well armored. It depends on the angle where you're getting shot at. If it comes in from this angle, it might get bounced. So you have this narrow space where you can get in. Now I could armor that, but that's again a trade-off. They want the extra armor and lose the, <clears throat> lose the speed. Or am I going to adapt my maneuvering? to compensate for. Okay, what is missing? Yes, I wanted to have two extra guns in it. Yeah, let's get two extra guns in. Okay, do that. No. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. This part, this part. Okay, now I need extra ammo. Extra ammo, how should I do? I have an idea. I'm not going to extend it the hole further. I'm, to, I'm going to extend it, but just a small bit. And a small piece over here. This. And now let's take some small ammo parts over here. Non slightly underpowered, that's the other problem I'm having here. 
and I need an extra crew point. Hmm. I could throw out one fire suppression system, or I could throw out one fuel tank. What happens if I throw out one fuel tank? Yeah, it still looks like good fuel range. 700 is not that bad. Now do small armor part. One. And this one. Okay, it's down to 686. That's still 400 kilometers more fuel range. Okay, I need more crew and I'm slightly underpowered. Now what can I throw out to get an extra generator? In? Hmm. I got one free slot for a crew quarter. Let's get an extra crew quarter in. I can use one large quarter. Well, it's still me with an underpart ship. Anything I could throw out. I can't throw out the fuel. I mean, I'm insisting on having that extra firepower with six guns. I could do a trade-off, throw out one gun and get some extra generator in. Then I at least have five guns. Would make it asymmetrical, but you know, that's a compromise again. Or I could have it fly with slightly underpowered settings. What's the mass of a gun? I'm going to throw out one gun and get a generator back in. That's actually too much capacity. I'll get a cheaper one. Okay, now I got the power I need. And I even got space for a crew escape pod. Here. Yeah. Oh, it's blocked. Needs a gap to get out. Hmm. How can we improvise on that one? Is that a free slot over here? Hmm. Wait, I can swap it with the fuel tank over here. Fuel tank over here. Put this in the gap. Now the crew can escape. Yeah, I think this is looking good. We got 400 more fuel range. Okay, the speed is... Uh, the speed is really slow. Wait, if I take one gun armor piece out... I'm not gaining much speed. I could trade off some of the armor. I could, for example, use that armor piece there. Nah. Can't really lose that. Let's see how that, how that design works. Okay, stick two. Save it. And now we can test this one. Test it against the medium ship. See how those five guns work. Yeah, as expected, it those small guns have really bad armor penetration. So anything that's armored, they just bounce off most of the time. However, you create such a huge volume of bullets coming out, out of those five guns, you will get somewhere in the cracks in here. And if you use incendiary ammo, then the enemy will have a fire starter in a ship. And smaller ships usually have one or two fire suppression systems only. So, I think it's going to be an effective one. Ah. Okay, that's not looking good. Oh, I can see my engine fly off over here. Yep, I'm making a mistake of being exposed to my vulnerable parts. I mean, the, the tower part of the ship is holding out really well. As you can see, if you take it from the top, it's actually a really resilient ship. They didn't get through to the top part yet.
It's definitely having some issues against well armored opponents. So now let's take a look how the ship performs fuel wise on a strategic map. I'm going to see if that thing can be used as a strike group to attack the enemy early. I'm going to fly close here. Okay, let's see. Speed 183. I have to get a bit closer. On the radar. It ranges good enough to, you can see here, I can still sign in the city and I still have some room for the main fleet to park over here. So it's good enough for a strike group attack. And let's see if I send a stick, so in strike probability. Now this is how it works. You got a 52 chance if they have no IRST, no short or long range radar. If they got this one, IRC, there's zero chance of not being seen. Zero chance, zero chance. And that's actually, I think, a random freighter just coming my direction by accident. So I think in terms of fuel range, it is a good improvement from the first version of the ship. Yeah, I think uh, this one is going to work out. Let me know in the comments what do you think about the new improvements. And for the next video, maybe consider reconfiguring the ship into a missile or a gunboat for larger calibers. This concludes the video, and as always, thanks for watching.